Hey folks. So like it's been a while since like I've done like a makeup video where I put on makeup and show you how I put on my makeup. I'm not like the absolute best at putting on makeup but I like to put it on sometimes and yeah I thought I would just like show you guys how I do it. Just a little get ready with me. I'm not going to do anything super complicated but I am going to get dressed and take some pics later so I want to like at least have like a semi-decent looking face. <laughs> I realised I forgot to shave my eyebrows before um, starting this video so I'm just going to do that now. So I mean I did shave them a couple days ago but they grow back like really quickly. Like they grow back quicker than my facial hair does. Uh, I think that's because I've been shaving my eyebrows for a lot longer than I've had facial hair. I think I've been like shaving my eyebrows for like, I think I started when I was in Japan, so I was like 2014, 2015, so like six odd years. Like it's not that long in comparison to how long people have been shaving their eyebrows for, but for me, it's a long time. And yes, I usually do this with a wet razor and face, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> so enjoy this. So this side, I don't know if you can see, but it's like darker than this side and I don't get it. And I think I need to like trim it down a bit. Where are my scissors? I have scissors. I don't know. Look, you see how much darker it is on that side? <laughs> oh well, it's fine because I'm going to cover and makeup anyway, but yeah. Well, that's that done. Okay, so first things first, I've already washed my face and got moisturiser, so... What's that first thing people put on? Primer. Right, let me find my primer. So my primer is this one from e.l.f. It smells like oranges. Like it's really nice and it smells like oranges. And it does a really good job. And I just do that with my fingers because I don't care. I mean, I think a lot of people put their primer on with their fingers. I don't know. Because I've been in lockdown for a month, my skin has been not the best. It's been getting really dry. So what happened last time I went into lockdown too, like my my skin just really got like super dry for some reason. It eventually sorted itself out. Well, I'm coming out of lockdown next week anyway, so I guess we'll see what happens when I start going back to work and going back out into the real world again. Um, what's next? Foundation. So my foundation is this. This is the Pro Base Matte Finish Foundation in 130 number. I don't know what that is. Look, I don't pretend to know anything about makeup. The, the little stick that comes with it broke off, so I actually have to use a brush to get it out and put it on my face, which is really, really annoying. Because, like, yeah, I kind of have to do this and it's a bit messy. Um, this isn't even my foundation brush, like my foundation, I don't want to put my foundation brush in this and like absolutely cover it. But yeah, I did a makeup video not uh, a couple years ago about MUA um, and how to be vegan friendly. They didn't state openly that we're vegan or cruelty free. By law they have to be cruelty free in the UK, but uh, in the last couple of years they've actually like pointed out like what of their items are vegan and like they're all cruelty free and they're just like very like strongly advocating for it now because it benefits them um financially but also as long as they're doing it that's what the fuck matters you know as long as their stuff is cruelty free and vegan it doesn't matter why they're doing it because that's that's what's going to benefit <laughs> the animals but yeah so i might have to do a more updated video about what companies in the UK that do makeup, that do cheap, accessible, like everyday makeup, you know? Because now I have to reevaluate where MUA stands on that list because uh, previously MUA and Revolution were literally like said in the video, like they aren't explicitly vegan or like advocating for cruelty free makeup so I didn't really have a lot of good things to say about them but again that was a few years ago so maybe I'll say some nicer things about them next time. Like they made they made that decision to label their stuff as vegan so not all of it obviously but I think it's a lot of vegan. So next is this what do they call it? Setting powder <laughs> from Barry M. Just pretty standard setting powder 
I don't really understand how it works because it's got little dots in it and it's really hard to actually get it out. But I guess that's the point that you don't want to put on a whole bunch and cake your face in it. But look, I don't pretend to know anything about makeup. I just do what I've been doing for the last few years and it's been working for me. So. Okay, so now all of that, this foundation and makeup has covered up the fact that I'm actually have like quite yellowish undertones. I now just look more white, white, white than anything. Um, you know, you wouldn't think that I'm half Turkish. <laughs> Most people don't. Most people actually think I'm like from like, when I say that I'm not like 100% English, they're just like, oh, what are you like Scandinavian? I'm just like, like more than once. Somebody has said, like, when they try and guess where I'm from, they think I'm from Scandinavia, so. All right, I can see the Turkishness in me, but that's just because one, I live with me, I know what my family looks like, and I lived in Turkey for six years, so I know what Turkish people look like. But, yeah, people don't tend to get that. <laughs> what do I do now? What do I usually do now after that bit? Okay, eyebrows. I'm gonna start on my eyebrows first, because that's the one that I tend to hate, how it ends up. I make them really small. So, the margin of error is small, but we all know, as the saying goes, that eyebrows are supposed to be more like sisters than natural twins. Focus. There you go. <laughs> right. So, I need to sharpen my eyebrow pencil. Okay, I will say that the, this is from Primark, so I don't really know if it's, you know, cruel. I think Primark is cruelty free, but they're not like super strong advocates for that, I think. Oh no, I, I mean, I think they are. I think recently, I like a lot of other companies, they've kind of like spoken out about like cruelty when it comes to makeup. But then also they have a lot of stuff from Korea and Korean stuff is all tested on animals because of the laws of China. If you don't know what that law is, basically China's law is that you have to test your makeup on animals before you can sell it in mainland China, which really sucks because it just leaves no room for other companies to sell to China 100% cruelty free. But yeah, okay, so now we're nice and close up, you can see with my odd eyebrows. I need the mirror for this one because this one's a big deal. Okay, so give me a second. Wow, that actually turned out like really straight, considering <laughs> how much I usually mess it up the first time. Cool, nice, well, that's good. I like that. Anyway, yeah, I don't advocate Primark's makeup. I just have this one eyeliner pencil thing that I use for my eyebrows, and I do have a Barry M one somewhere, but this is the first one I picked up, so I just used it. Um, Barry M, again, I do like because they are Forty three and like 99% vegan and they mark all of their stuff that is vegan, clearly as vegan. So next is eyeliner, I think I still do that. So talking of Barry M, I have the eyeliner from Barry M, which is the thing I put on first. The reason I put my eyeliner on first, because then I'm going to put eyeshadow on over the top of it, is because I struggle to put eyeliner on over the top of my eyeshadow. I think it's just because I have really bad eyeshadow and possibly really bad white liner so which is what I use so I put this on first and I put the eyeshadow on and then I go over this with this again but I mean you'll see you'll see what I do this is really hard to do while holding a mirror so I'm just gonna use this I don't know why I just didn't use it in the first place <laughs> I know why because there's a, there's a short delay between a really really tiny delay between the audio and the mirror Oh my god. See, this is what happens when I try and change things up. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, I don't even really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with what feels normal, I guess. Um, I put a little bit on here just to... The story about my white eyeliner is, um, for years and years and years, I only wore black eyeliner. I wore black eyeliner every single day. I didn't feel right without it and so instead of wearing 
black eyeliner, I switch to white eyeliner and now that's just how I do my makeup every time because I feel weird without it. I remember uh, back when I was wearing Lolita, people were just like, you need to stop using black eyeliner because it's too heavy for the clothes you wear. And I thought, heck you, I do what I want. Then I switched to white eyeliner. <laughs> but I mean, it's cute, right? And then I'm going to put my eyeshadow on anyway, so all of this is going to disappear, but I need a basis for this to stick onto after I put the eyeshadow on. So my eyeshadow palette is this one. You can tell what colours I've used the most. <laughs> I can't really use these ones at all. I just use the pink. I feel like it's a bit obvious. Look at this, look at this, what a mess. But it's too shimmery. I'm so upset that I don't have the matte palette because the matte one would be perfect. It's so shiny, this one. But it's cute. BH Cosmetics have really, really good palettes and they're quality free and I think I might get another palette sometime soon but I also kind of want the one from Beauty Bay that a lot of people have which is just a plain like matte palette that's really cute. So what I usually start with is my Spectrum brush. I have this whole collection of Spectrum brushes that my mum got for me a couple of years ago for Christmas and I really wanted these, these palettes like these, I really wanted this selection of brushes and my mum got it for me without even like knowing that I wanted them. So I was just like, thanks. Okay, so we start off with a light pink. So I'm gonna use this, uh, you just what I'm doing, light pink. Cause then we work our way up to the darker pinks, you know? And so watch me pretend to be a professional. Like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been putting makeup on for so many years and I still, I'm such a noob. I just don't do it often enough to, I don't change my look up often enough to learn per se. I've learned how to do these videos better, at least. So there's that, right? Like it's nice being back on YouTube and doing videos again. I'm doing them once a week at this point, which is, I've never done that before. I just feel like if I really want to do YouTube, I need to be a bit more serious about it and make more videos and kind of just be more myself. I feel like I was pressuring myself to kind of like edit myself to look different. Like just by talking and how I edit my videos and stuff, but really like, I like these long videos of me just being an absolute twat. Am I allowed to say that on the internet? I don't know. You just said that's a standard word here in the UK. And it's an at sound, by the way, not an art sound. So it's T W A T, at, at. Just for you Americans out there who don't say it that way. So yeah, I'm just kind of like going under my eye and just covering my entire eye with like the lighter pink so that I have like a basis. I actually. I don't know why I'm not just like going all out. That's what I usually do. I can't really see it. <laughs> I used to do like my whole face like pink, but I've run out of that palette, so it stopped me doing that exact look because of that little thing I had that I used to do with that. Okay, so now we're gonna go through a dark pink. The only reason I'm choosing this pink is that I haven't hit pan yet, so I'm trying to save the other ones by using a different one. This one is a little bit more ready than I would like it, but it's still a cute colour. And I just kind of go over the top of the previous eyeshadow. The great thing about using pink on pink is I could just use the same brush for the whole look. <laughs> I obviously have a, like a whole collection of brushes. I, I change my look up occasionally. I'm now kind of like mixing with that one and my preferred colour of choice just to give it some extra depth. I think I need to add more, more depth. So we're going in with an even darker pink mixed with a hot pink. Actually, let me go and get my other color after I do this. I'm gonna show you what I do next. So you can see like the colors slowly kind of come together. So as this final touch of pink. I have this little thing, I can't remember where it was from, I think someone gave it to me. It says a blush powder, but obviously I just use it as an eyeshadow because I have no rules. And I'll just use this to kind of like, see how that just kind of 
fix that just a little bit. Just to give it some extra. Like it's really pigmented this one compared to the, the, the Rio palette. So I just kind of use it as the final thing to kind of like make it look. Oh, see, does that work so well. It's fine. I'm going to put a thing over that anyway. So. This is why I put the eyeshadow on, uh, the eyeliner on beforehand because it's kind of really hard to put eyeliner on after all this is on my face. It just doesn't stick, it just goes gross and gooey. My two next favourite boys are these. This one I put on my eyebrows, it's a glitter powder, and this one I put here to kind of cover up my scars a little bit and then just to soften this out and I'll show you what I do with that. This one is a Dazzle Dust and this one is Fine Glitter Dust. They are both from Barry M. And I use them like every single time I do my makeup, they are essential to my look. You can just see by looking at them that they go with this makeup. I have designated brushes for both of these because because I use them every single time I, have, I do my look. So this one, I use this and then this one, I use this. I'm sure if you've watched any of my makeup videos before, you've seen this exact same process, but you know, I don't usually talk this much throughout my videos. So you're just enjoying a nice little chat with me whilst we do this. Wait, did I say I was gonna do that? Well, I'm doing my eyebrows first. So yeah, it's just a little glitter dust. And it just kind of softens up the edges of the eyebrows and gives them a little shimmer. I mean, I might as well put some from my eyelashes, eyebrows, eye, eyes, eyelids, eyelids. And this is the bit where it gets nice and messy and goes all over my face. Okay, you ready? That's <laughs> <laughs> no, not gonna focus, okay. So I have to do this a lot because it's, it still goes everywhere even if I do all of it. So I tend to just, I don't know if you can see all the dust that's coming off of it, it goes absolutely everywhere. Let's see. <laughs> it's cute, I really like it though. That's why I use it, like it's kind of, it just gives it a little, kind of softens the edges a little bit, you know. Maybe yeah, all the eyeshadow that we did earlier. I don't know why I'm putting it here, because I'm just going to cover this in, I don't know, mascara or something. Just gives it a little bit of extra shine, you know. See? The stuff is very good. I've literally had this for, I think I've had two now. This is my second one. I haven't even finished the first one. I just have two because like, I think they were on offer at one point and I just got them to get another one because I was like, I use this all the time. Like, I want it. If, I, if they ever stop making that, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, so now I top up my eyeliner. So you see, now I just kind of go back over the eyeliner just a little bit, just to give it a little pick me up. See, this would be so hard to do after this process because the eyeliner really doesn't like going over the top of makeup. No, it's really nice. You like looking at my eyeball like this? It's great, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna do my beard now. This is the secret to my beard that will expose me as a horrible person who ruins makeup palettes. <laughs> okay, I don't have a specific color for my beard yet and I should really invest in one. However, that's great, you can see me, you can see my whole room. This palette, okay, are you ready? This is what I do to get the colour I use my beard. <laughs> and then I just, I'm gonna just go in like this, you know? This is why my palette looks so awful. But, it does a job. And then I take the brush that I use for my eyebrows and then I kind of just... I have little remnants of glitter on it too. See, so it just gives a little, little bit of, little bit of colour. I don't know if I'm going to put mascara on it. I sometimes do. Right, next is mascara for my actual eyes. 
Okay, again, this is something from Primark, but it's literally just this little white lash primer that I've just had for a very long time. I should probably throw it away and get a new one. So don't have makeup for too many years. Get rid of it. When it's old, get rid of it. I'm just poor and I need to invest actual money in proper makeup. So I'll probably go to, I don't know. I just need to find somewhere that does like a white lash primer thingy because I use it as a white mascara because it's so hard to find an actual like vegan white mascara you'd be really surprised how hard it was to find maybe nowadays it'll be easier to find for like a uh, all those new makeup companies that are popping up all over the place but you know maybe I'll look at that after I've done this video it doesn't really look like it does much but it's a primer so who okay. cares uh, next I will be doing the mascara. So this mascara is another one from Barry M. It is pink, like real pink. And it's also vegan. I don't know if you can read that. Go on. It's just, it says vegan right here. I don't know, it won't focus. Hello, focus. Compared to a lot of other pink mascaras that for some reason have Carmine in them, which is made from crushed, and, uh, crushed beetles. So a lot of mascara, like all of the ones from, are they called NYX? I think NYX mascaras all have uh, Carmine in them, which sucks. So yes, while NYX might be a cruelty-free company, parent company uh, sells to China, therefore tests on animals, and also um, they put Carmine in a lot of their products, which means it's not vegan. So I can't. This also goes the same for beeswax, like a lot of things have beeswax in it, which is so hard because they put so much stuff, beeswax and stuff. But now that companies are trying to be more like vegan friendly, they um, are taking the animal products out. They're having to learn how to make makeup without animal products. Like it's really not that hard. There's clearly a lot of companies that already do it. So anyway, eyeshadow, uh, not eyeshadow, mascara. This is really dangerous without a mirror because it's so close to my eye, <laughs> right? Cool, right. I think I'm done. Do I put anything else on? I don't think I do. I think that's it. I lied, I realised I didn't put anything on my lips. <laughs> so I have this, I've already started opening before, I'm getting ahead of myself. This uh, Candy Kid colour lip thing from Dollicious. So I like to move my piercings up the way, so they're actually not a good thing up. Cool, now I'm done. Right, now I'm gonna go dressed. So this is what I have decided to put together and wear. I even changed my hat. Something a bit more pastel than my other one. Let me see what we got. The hat is from a thrift store somewhere in the kids sections of a thrift store in Oklahoma uh, City. And this is from Florian's Emporium. I don't think that they're doing chokers anymore, but it's very cute. The sweater is from Cherry Pop, also known as Cherry Cheesy, who also doesn't make apparel anymore, it's very sad. And then the top is from My Bunny Baby. The badges are from this one from Damnation Party, and this one is from Darling Assland, my brand. It's from my flatman's br flatmate's brand. So yeah, this is my brand, this is my flatmate's brand, if you like them. Go and check out the links down below to get yourself some good stuff. I feel really cute, like I didn't intend to do the day, so I'm glad I kind of just like got up and did it. Like, it's just nice to do something and feel productive for a change, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you like this look. I hope you like this video of me rambling on for a very, very long time. And yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye.